General Grievous was the Kalish warlord made the supreme commander of the Separatist Stroid Army, a more than formidable warrior and great tactician against most foes. However, many would say that he failed to live up to the desires of the CIS. As well as this, some of the CIS were outright disappointed by him. But why exactly is this? Now, to understand why Grievous was selected by the CIS to command their armies, we're first going to be using some legend sources to support what we have, because the canon ones are very vague. Essentially, Grievous was a warlord in the Hook War. He butchered many of the insectoid hooks and pushed them off-world in a brutal campaign. He then worked for years as a banking clan enforcer under Sand Hill to collect overdue debts. For this reason, he was seen as a very capable leader, who was incredibly proficient in personal combat. The Kalish were also a species that had suffered personally under Republic blockades and policy, and they were seen by much of the galaxy as a pretty honourable species. The CIS's initial plan was that Grievous would not only be a competent commander and warrior, but he would also become the face of the CIS's military, whilst Dooku was the face of its politics. When we see the Republic's military leaders, we see honourable, mostly friendly faces who inspire hope and confidence from the people. For example, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yalaran, and Aayla Sakura. Proud and capable leaders who demand respect. The CIS wanted the same, a living face to command their droid armies and inspire hope in their citizens. Someone the people could believe in. However, upon his injuries that destroyed most of his body, Grievous underwent surgery and he became the deadly cyborg we see him as today. Now, there's a pretty big problem with this. Sand Hill and the Geonosian engineers who designed Grievous didn't really take into account his appearance. Perhaps it was due to the ever-efficient businessmen within them, but they designed him to be an effective and perfect killing machine. And although this was great and it made him an opponent any warrior would fear, you can say a lot about Grievous. However, it's not exactly the face of a leader, a face that people can trust, or a face that inspires people. Even Dooku, a lord of the Sith, noted that upon first seeing the cyborg, that he was terrifying. It's not only this, but it's his entire demeanour. His hunched over stature and rough cybernetic voice all added to this terrifying demeanour. So Grievous was never going to be the face of the CIS's military, he simply appeared too villainous. So, Grievous was never going to be an inspirational leader, however he was still a great warrior and a ruthless commander. However, this didn't quite work out as well either. Grievous, although being almost completely machine, was still driven heavily by emotions, chiefly anger and hatred, both for the Republic and the Jedi. And although many famous generals have a genuine dislike for their enemies, a wise commander does not let that affect their decisions. Grievous, however, was very much subject to his feelings. He was easy to anger, and he was impulsive. He would endanger the mission, and more importantly, the CIS's resources, by acting too rashly. Not only this, but Grievous was in legends, and to some extent in canon, severely haunted by his past traumas. He had lost nearly all those close to him. He hated his new body, he hated the droid armies that he commanded, and he didn't even like the people who he worked for. He saw them as slimy businessmen. Realistically, the war itself meant nothing to him. He was there to make the Republic bleed. The Separatists and their fight for freedom had no place in his mind. And all of this doesn't make a good general or a commander. The CIS leadership knew this as well, they didn't see Grievous as someone they could trust, they just saw him as a reckless tool. A very dangerous tool, but still not what they wanted in the first place. Ultimately, the plans for Grievous didn't work out, as they were intended, but he still proved to be one of the most useful assets the CIS had in the war. But what do you think about Grievous, and what did you think? Did he fit the objectives the CIS originally put in place, and how? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, please remember to like, share and sub as it's really appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Also don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Law Guy and tick the bell for regular updates. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video, if so please do show some support for more like it, but most importantly thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.